everything you've done, even down to naming your songs, getting the lyrics, the title for the album has been through the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. That's so beautiful. It really is. And when you speak, I can tell there's a depth of relationship you have with God. How have you developed your relationship with God? Well, I mean, I grew up in the church, and I knew of God, mm -hmm. but I didn't really know Him. Mm -hmm. And there was never a personal relationship there at all. Mm -hmm. And then in 2002, I attended a gospel concert with my husband. It was Valentine's Day. Uh -huh. And they gave an invitation to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior or to rededicate yourself, you know, to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I had been striving for so long mm -hmm. to just be good and do good, mm -hmm. and I kept falling short. Yeah. And so um, at that point, I was desperate, and I was ready. And I, for the first time in my life, I didn't care what anyone else <laughs> around me thought. Amen. I was so ready. So I stood up and said the sinner's prayer. I rededicated myself to the Lord and fell head over heels in love with Jesus. And then from that time, just you know, getting in His Word and like any personal relationship, mm -hmm. you know, just spending time with Him mm -hmm. and getting to know Him on a more mm -hmm. personal and intimate level. Mm -hmm. And you're also plugged in at your local church here in Charlotte. I have a great church, and I just thank God for that, that He's moved us here and, and, and you know, given us a great body of believers and a great covering, great mm -hmm. pastors. Yes, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us how you act actually ended up moving to Charlotte. Well, it was totally the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, actually, we... Um, when I was back in Boston, I felt for the longest time, we're not mm -hmm. supposed to be here. I don't know where we're supposed <laughs> to be, but we are not supposed to be here. Uh -huh. And the irony of that is we had jobs, family, friends. Um, we were active in our church. I mean, we had everything there. Uh -huh. Why I would feel like that, you know? Yeah. But it was the Lord pulling us, and I didn't know that at the time. Um, and my husband and I were experiencing some financial difficulties. Mm -hmm. And so we said, you know, let's look at moving down south because, you know, the, the property is a lot more... Um, reasonable, a lot yes. less, ex, you know, expensive. And his mom lived mm -hmm. in Florida, my mom lived in Florida, so mm -hmm. it was like, you know. Well, we started looking at Florida and it just wasn't right and kind of moved our way up the coast. <laughs> Got to North Carolina and then Charlotte, and I, I really felt like there was something there in Charlotte, so mm -hmm. I pressed in and just really started, and then we started getting confirmation, crazy little confirmations here wow. and there. Um, but the greatest confirmation was um, for my husband, mm -hmm. who really needed it. Because I think when I felt that way and I heard from the Lord, it was really important for him to hear from the Lord and to know. Mm -hmm. um, it was probably more of a sacrifice on his half. So um, we mm -hmm. had come down to Charlotte for me to sing at an event. And I said, you know, he was in the marble and granite industry. And I said, why don't you just contact someone in the marble and granite industry and just tell them, you know, you're in the area and you want to meet. So he did, and they, they agreed to meet with him. Well, they, the greatest thing was they didn't just agree to meet with him. They offered him a job that never even existed, and they held it for him for six months until we sold our house. Wow. Which is totally his confirmation. So, so God. Yeah, <laughs> totally. That is so God. And, yeah. you know, I always ask that question to our guests because we've had quite a few guests here on the show in the last two years that God has moved here to this spiritual Jerusalem. Mm-hmm because he's gathering his people for an end time move of God. He's bringing both the Jewish uh, messianic remnant and the Gentile here to get us ready. I mean, when I say it's a spiritual Jerusalem, we are prepared for God to pour out his spirit here just as if it were in Israel. Absolutely. And I see God doing that, raising up singers everywhere mm -hmm. like you. I mean, you're now at the Inspiration Networks mm -hmm. working as well as singing everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It really is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And I found it even in, you know, my, between church and work mm -hmm. that I've met more and more families mm -hmm. and people that have said that they've been called here to Charlotte. Mm -hmm. um, where do you see yourself in five years, Chrissy? Wow. <laughs> There's that question. Um, well, basically, um, you know, I, I know it's good to be a goal setter and mm -hmm. set goals and, and, and all that. Um, and I, I always ask the Lord to kind of enlarge my territory. Oh, that's uh, good. You know, that spend prayer. the tent pigs. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. But um, at the same time, I'm pretty much just like along for the ride. Mm -hmm. um, contrary to the bumper sticker, the Lord is not my co-pilot. He's my pilot. <laughs> <laughs> there and I'm in big trouble if he Kick becomes my co-pilot. <laughs> Seriously, right. you know? But, um, oh, I like that. Yeah, no, I really like that. I, I just have to remind myself daily to um, let him drive, you know, and stay in the driver's mm -hmm. seat and cut steer us in the mm -hmm. right road and, mm -hmm. and so we don't get off course. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. But that's, I mean, you know, I really don't right. know. I'm just yeah. on this journey and it's amazing so far and it's just beginning. So I know. That's, and see, that's the beauty of the way a Christian thinks who's born again, has a brand new, recreated, regenerated spirit. Um, 
you can ask somebody who's in the world and they would have all these grandiose ideas well I'm gonna make X amount of money and I'm gonna do this and that and while financial goals are not bad at all because you know right. money helps the kingdom of God mm -hmm money with a purpose does anyway right, right. you know it's good to hear the heart of somebody who is merely doing this in obedience to God yet it's obvious that you love singing for the Lord absolutely I mean I, I was born to do that see there yeah yeah and what would you say to somebody watching who doesn't really know why they were born I would say you have a purpose and a destiny you are not an accident you know just like Jeremiah 29 11 says you know the Lord wants to give you a future and a hope and he has a plan and purpose for your life. And just like, you know, he's shown it to me, he will show it to you too if you, you know, if you quiet yourself and listen to his voice. That's wonderful. Now, you're going to sing a song for us when we close the show. Tell me the title. The Way You Do. What is it about? It's about, you know, going on this spiritual journey and basically, you know, you get, um, you know, along the way and you get, you operate in all these gifts and, you know, you, have pro you can prophesy and mm -hmm. you have these great visions and dreams and all that, but you don't have the love of God. You, you know, you're a hearer yeah. of the word, but you're not a doer of the word. Mm -hmm. Then it's really all in vain. It really mm -hmm. doesn't mean anything. You know, mm -hmm. you need to demonstrate the love of Christ. You need to have the love of Christ in you and you need to show that to the world. Mm -hmm. And that's so important because there's a religious stronghold in this geographic area. It's a religious spirit. And, you know, I, I say we're here in the buckle of the Bible Belt. Well, that spirit has caused so many people to be wounded and to run towards a workspace theology rather than a love relationship right. with the God that they serve out of love instead of out of compulsion. Mm -hmm. You know, one leads to death, the other to life, you know. And I think that, that this song ministers to those people who are coming out of that woundedness. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there is a way out. God means for us not to, to be um, under a yoke of bondage but to be with Jesus, whose burden is light. That's His yoke is easy, his burden is light. And, and he says, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay.